Hey y'all, let's continue the tour. Hey y'all, welcome back. So we are continuing the tour for this beautiful, beautiful land. If you're new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life. And on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So y'all, this land is very, very walky. It is very, very walky. I promise we're not gonna walk every single piece and part of this land, but look at this. The fall colors are falling. The fall colors are falling. So as I um, stated in my last video, this land is a community SAM. And so um, I believe they said that it spans across about seven SAMs or so. So this is us like in the actual like community part of the land. If I just so happen to come across, look how beautiful it is. I love that the houses are on brand. If I happen to come across a land that is for rent or a house that is for rent, um, we'll definitely uh, check it out if they allow us to. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all. So as you walk along, it is just beauty all around you. This community is amazing. Absolutely amazing amazing i come across a lot of communities look at these beautiful black horses i have come across a lot of communities and a lot of places where i have been um thoroughly impressed am i going the right way no let's go this way where i have been thoroughly impressed with the way that they have created the land and created the spaces um I am not easily awed. I can be easily impressed by the landscaping, but for me to really see a place where I'm just like, I cannot believe this, it happens, um, but it's not as, I don't feel like it's as often as um, it is for me to just like find a land that I think is like really beautiful. This land is so well put together, so well executed. I just like the 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 look at the, look at this. Just like look at this. Look at the whole like the surround of this land. What? They never let you forget that you are on um you are in an equestrian community and i really really like that i also like that they don't make things so um overwhelming when it comes to the stables and things like that but you still know that they're around so like you see they have the little horses in the background and they're just kind of like grazing doing their own things it's like little stables here and there i love how they have like the horses just kind of like chilling out and then amongst the horses there's community you'll have a nice little pond with swans just kind of like chilling out and things like that so it definitely has a very homey cozy inviting type of feel to it look at the little babies on the back and i really really love this i really really love it it does have a really nice springtime type flair to it and i really like that as well even the homes that they chose to have on the land for rent we're definitely not going to pay any in but i just wanted you guys to kind of see how the the homes are even themed with a nice countryside type feel and they'll make sure that you have stables so if you have horses that you want to bring um and have on your land they allow you to have that as well I love all the beautiful colors. I love how things will transition. I feel like this might be tight. Let's see. I love how things um, will transition from the, yeah, it's too tight. Things will transition from the reds and the browns and the oranges to just like beautiful, like red colored accents and things like that. So it's like, you see how they have like the the trees in the background and then they'll have these beautiful pinkish red flowers they have like a really really nice pop of color so this is like a little greenhouse that they have over here this is super cute so 
I think that a lot of this stuff is probably going to be like some nutmeg mixed in with some dust bunny and some other places that have some similar um, meshing. This shared environment, I'm, I, this is not the shared environment. I found this environment, but I think it's a little too bright. Give me a second. There we go. So I'm all for a nice brightness, but I want to be able to see the colors. So you see how everything pops now. See, now I want to look at the flowers again. Now I want to look at the flowers again. So they had, they looked more like pinkish white, but they have a really nice um, red hue to it. So y'all, why did I, look how cute this is. This is like, is this like hot chocolate with chocolate chip cookies? Baby, you might as well go ahead and drink that on the toilet. Um, I redid my outside. So I had come up with like a really cute um, landscaping idea for outside of my house this whole entire time, believe it or not, you guys. I have been like patiently getting things together so that I'm um, with my house so that I could show you guys my house. You know, that was the goal. That was the, the thing that I was really trying to do. What does this say? But I had one platform that I had made, then I changed it. So I had found a page on Second Life Facebook that really gave me some inspiration as to how I can change up the landscaping because the platform that I had created was a platform that I already had and I just kind of like tweaked it a little bit, but I really wanted to try to see if I could create like a whole different platform that had more of like a cozy feeling to it. And so like on Facebook, I am following, um, what is the name of the page? Mason. Fleur, you know, I think that's how you would pronounce it. And they had like a land, they had done some landscaping and I really liked some of the elements. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can kind of create that and just kind of like add that um, to my space because I really, really loved it. So that's what I did. Look at this. Fall in love. My favorite color is fall. And so I I did the, I went to a sandbox, created the platform, brought it in, and once I brought it in and landscaped it and all of that stuff, I realized that the landscaping platform that I created did not mix well. Oh, look at this rug. It did not look, hold on, let me see. We Let's turn around, let's turn around. Look at their leaves. How cute is this? I love this. So you see they have all the fall colors in the leaf. I love it. So the landscaping that I did did not carry over the theme of it the theme of it did not carry over to my house so like my house had one type of feel to it and the landscape had a completely different feel to it so now i am redoing my house because i'm not redoing that platform i'm not i don't um i, I love the platform that i created it's very simple it's very cozy feeling and things like that i love the way that i landscaped it i'm i'm actually not done landscaping it but i love what i've done so far look how pretty this is i love when they have like these little ladders and things like this um the the platform for me is nice enough for me to be like no we're gonna change the house all our products are handmade with the love. Look at the moon phases, more spiritual aspects. I love this. The whole like palm reading, emphasis on that going on, I really love it. So while I thought that I was pretty much done decorating, switched the platform and now we're back at square one. Now we're back at square one. So my whole house is in complete disarray. When I say complete disarray, I do mean complete disarray. Look at how freaking yummy this is. They have like a cupcake cookie and a sundae cookie with a confetti cookie. This is like, looks like cherry toppings. What? What? With a like a strawberry swirl that looks like a tart chunky chocolate chip and this almost looks like a pancake cookie like with the butter and stuff like that i love it 
I love it. This place, I can smell the brown sugar. I can smell it. I can smell the toastiness of the ooey gooey cookies. I can smell it. I can smell it. I love it. I love that this is a very small space, but it is very quaint. I also love that I can fit. I also love that I can fit. All right, now let me find out naked cakes are gonna be a, a thing now. I saw a naked cake on um, the cafe land that I went to, and um, we saw um, some naked cakes on the first part of this video, um, on this land rather. So naked cakes are a thing now. They really are a thing. Y'all, so there was a time, so this syrup is from Fancy Decor. decor. Now, they had this full set on sale, 50% off for, um, this was like two years ago, I want to say, maybe it was a year ago, for Black Friday. They had it on sale. Oops, let me pan up. They had this on sale. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Being cheap, there was really no other reason. I didn't get it. And so, another time, they had it. And it was for a weekend sale. Didn't get it. Being extra. And you know what? I meant to get it. And I told myself, I said, you know what? We're going to go ahead and get it. It was like a Friday. I said, you know, I'm not going to get it today because I really don't feel like shopping today. I don't even think I had came on Second Life. So I'm like, I'm not going to get it today. I'm going to get it a different day. And that different day turned into Monday from Friday. I ended up coming on and I was doing other things. And then some days I just did not come on. I love these chalkboards. Look how pretty this is. Look at all the colors. Fall leaves, beautiful breeze. A whole lot of love. It's like a little latte. And pumpkin spice. Yes. So I came back on Monday and it was the sale was over with. Now, a lot of times during the weekend sales, they have their stuff on sale the entire weekend. A lot of times it goes throughout the week. So if they put their stuff on sale on Friday, they might take it up on Thursday. They might take it up on Thursday. Oh, look at the coffee drip. I love it. Might take it up on Thursday. So I'm thinking I had time. Fancy Decor said you don't have time with us. Because one thing about us is we're here for the weekend sale. So when the weekend ends, so does the sale. So I'm assuming that they took their items up very early, probably like on Sunday. And so I missed it. Missed it. So now, because I still refuse to pay full price for these items because I know that they will have them on sale. I'm waiting out again for them to have them on sale again. And I don't know if they will. I just don't know if they will. This donut um, tower is a gotcha item. I have like five of these. I love them. They are so stinking cute. Look how pretty these are with the icing dripping off of it. It is so pretty. I love the flowers. This um, donut tower is perfect for this space. So yeah, so every time I see um, those coffee items, even like when I see like the sandwiches and things that came from that fancy decor set, I'm constantly reminded about when I missed out on the sale, just taking my sweet time. I love how they have like the little floating um, teacups. So yeah, this space is glorious. I didn't mean to spend this much time in here, but I did mean to look at everything. So I guess I kind of did mean to spend my uh, so much time in here. I want to check this out. You guys know how I feel about food in Second Life, so don't even do that. You already knew when we came in here, you saw the food. We're going to look at everything, so don't do that. Chocolate and strawberries, you know, it's pretty, but I don't really like that combination. I know a lot of other people do, but I, I'm not really a fan of it. I love these muffins and these scones. I love a good bakery. All of these beautiful colors, so lovely. It's funny, not they have like the waffles with the little mini pepperoni pieces. Let's stop here and pick this up another time. I'll see y'all soon.